Hello guys, my name is Giancarlo Duran, you can call me JC, and in this session we're gonna see how we can create a Curve S using data from P6 in our favorite tool, Power BI, okay? So let's get on with that and let me share you really quick my screen now. And we're gonna do all this in using only four simple steps. So if we want to start creating a Curve S like the one you are looking at on, on your screen right now, we need to go through this step. So the first step we want to do is gonna be this one. We need to get our data in from P6. We need to open a Primavera P6 in, in this case. I have here, I have a, a, a bunch of sample data in my P6. So you're just gonna use this uh, project I have already open here. So it's just a random project I have, but obviously make sure you have a resource loaded shuttle for, for, for us to, to be able to, to pull the data for, for, from the resources onto Power BI. So I, I, I'm pretty sure this schedule has resources. So I just need to go to the resource assignments. So let's go to the resource assignments screen. And here I can find guys all the resources that have been already assigned to this project. Okay. If you see this, you're going to find that all the resources go goes up to, I think it's April. So yeah, you can see that April, 2014. So that's good, right? So I just going to take the trades resources. So I'm just going to pick those up. I'm going to click select copy. I'm going to control C or if you just want right, right click and just go for the copy. And we are just going to paste them using an Excel. So I'm going to open an Excel file here, an Excel spreadsheet, a new one, and I'm going to paste those values here. Okay. Easy. PC, we have our data from P6 now in our Excel spreadsheet. And now what we want to do is we want to save this file. Okay, we're gonna save this, save us. I'm gonna say documentos, documents, right? Um, maybe I'm just gonna go for the browse and I'm gonna say, maybe I just need to paste it on my desktop. I'm gonna call this curve S, uh, Power BI, that's it. And I'm, I'm gonna hit on save. Save, guys. There you are. Now we can start by uh, going for our second step. And in this case, we need to connect our data onto Power BI. So for that, obviously, we need to open now our Power BI tool. Uh, as I want to do this from scratch. I'm gonna open a new page here. And what I need to do is connect my data. So for that, I'm just gonna go for get data. I'm gonna connect to an Excel workbook, okay? Let's hit on Excel. And now on my folder, in this case, a desktop, I'm just gonna choose Curve as Power BI, okay? I'm just gonna hit on open. It says it, this file is in use because it's on the cloud. So I'm just gonna close that down. I'm just gonna close it down. And now I can do this connection. Curve S, open, and right away I'm gonna get from Power BI uh, the recognition of the spreadsheet I've just created. Okay, so before I'm gonna select this one, but before you load this uh, data onto Power BI, we want to do some transformation. And this is actually the third step that we are meant to do. And this one, if you see now, is transform your data in Power BI. We want to automate this, those steps and we want to get them recorded on Power BI. So I'm just going to go for transform data now, transform data. I'm going to get the Power Query editor to open up here. And now you can see I have this new spreadsheet. And I'm just going to change the name here. I'm going to call this Cure S. Uh, and I'm going to say Power BI just to identify this one. Now that I have that done, what I need to do, the first transformation we need to do, guys, is just under the, the, the home uh, tab, we are going to go for use first row as headers. Okay. We want to get this first row as the headers of my table. 
So just by clicking this, selecting this, immediately you're gonna get the first row becoming the headers of your table. So that's all right. And now this is an important step, guys. This is an important and one of the most used transformations within Power BI for project controls. Because what we have here is the data in the same arrangement that we have that we had it in Power in Primavera P6. But we don't want that. Why? Because this data is spread in a horizontal uh, arrangement, right? But Power BI is a really powerful tool, but it works really well with databases and databases needs to have all the attributes in a single column. If this is a time attribute that the months, we, we want them to be in a single column and a vertical arrangement. So how can we do that guys? It's really simple. We just need to select all the fields, all the columns that are not involved with time. So you just want to keep the time columns, uh, away of this selection and now that I have selected all of them before I start with a time uh, a spread now I go and I go to transform menu and I'm gonna tell to Power BI I want to unpivot columns I want to unpivot the other columns not the ones I've selected it's not but the other columns so I just go to unpivot columns and I'm gonna tell Power BI I want to unpivot the other columns I press on that one and finally, I got my arrangement right now in a vertical way. That's exactly what I was looking for. So that's perfect. So the last thing I need to do before I load this data into my model, I want to change that data type because I've just created these two new columns before they were horizontal, the months and the values. Now I have them vertical, right? So first thing is I'm going to go to that corner and I'm going to select here the ABC that tells me it's a text file. I don't want this to be a text. I want this to be a date uh, attribute. So I'm going to go for date. Once it's been transformed, now I can do the same with value. And I can say one through three is, is, is just whole numbers. I actually don't want that. I want to see if I have in case I have any decimal number. So I'm just going to go for decimals. Uh, righty, now we have that uh, done, and I'm, I may want to change this this title, so I double click here. I'm gonna call this dates, and I'm gonna go for these values and I'm gonna say periods, because these are the values values per periods. Okay, lovely, everything's done. Now I can upload this data, I can load this data on my Power BI model, and I go for home, and I say close and apply as easy as that guys close and apply i have finished all my transformations so i can go for my fourth step that is if you see my screen visualize our data and generating these cumulative values that we actually don't have yet and one why i'm telling that is just because when i copy and paste it i just copy and pasted that period values but i haven't got from p6 that cumulative values that I will need to create my, my curve S, right? How can we make Power BI to create them automatically from the scratch? We just come back to Power BI. Let me just show that on my screen. And what I need to do is I need to use some DAX, data analysis expression. That's kind of the, the programming language that Power BI uses to create more data. It's kind of a yeah, it's kind of when, when you use some functions in, in, in Excel, the same happens in Power BI. Power BI also can have some functions to create more data. Okay, so DAX is the, the way Power BI does it. But in our case, as we don't use, I, I'm expecting that you are not using Power BI so often, oftenly, so we're just going to use kind of a, a, a tree. We're just going to use a quick measure. We're going to create a quick measure that is kind of a, pre-made uh, DAX already prepared for us. So I'm just going to go for quick measure. I'm going to click on there. And in here, I'm just going to go for one of the kind of pre-made uh, calculations. And in this case, I want to go for a running total. Okay, running total. That's the one I want to, to select, running total. And in this case, I'm going to need my table that is Curve S Power BI. 
and I'm gonna use for the base value, I'm gonna use my periods that should be over here, periods. We drag and drop this one here, and I want the sum of periods to be cumulated by using one field. Uh, and the field I want to use is obviously our dates. So I'm gonna drag and drop this one. So what I'm doing is I'm cum cumulative, uh, cumul cumulating sorry, <laughs> our periods values by the dates we are using in our table. So once I've done that, I'm just gonna hit on okay. And this quick measure is gonna be created for us. Okay, this is the one that I've created periods, periods all right, so I'm gonna use that one, but it's just that it's in, in another table. So I'm just gonna click on, on that one. And I'm gonna go and say the home table for that. I want to be power curve S power BI. So I'm just gonna gather all them together in this table. And now I'm gonna create my B shop. So I'm gonna go for this line and stacked column chart. I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna expand this a little bit. And now I can say, okay, the shared axis is going to be actually my dates month by month, right? I don't want in this arrangement that is hier hierarchical. I want this to be dates. And finally, I'm going to use our periods values on our column values in our in our visual. Now you're going to see we're going to get our our curve S is almost there, but we need also to have our cumulative a line so we have created that in this quick measure we created together i'm gonna drag and drop this one i'm gonna place it on line values okay so you see now we have our curve s is almost done but as i have many resources in this uh, data i want to see them i want to see the contribution of each of them in each period so I'm just going to go for a resource ID. That's a field from P6. I'm going to use this to place it on column series. Once I've done that, now finally, finally, I have my beautiful curve S on our screens. And I can see exactly what is the amount of each of the resources for each of the periods. And obviously, if you want to dig in and, and see this data in a more uh, level of detail, you can obviously add one more slicer. So I'm gonna create a slicer here, guys, for you. And this slicer, what I'm going to do with, with this one is I just want to bring these resource ID categories and I'm gonna place that inside of that slicer. So now I have the ability to click through them and I wanna see, for instance, just the curve, curve S of my plumber. There you go. And if you want to see the curve S of the carpenter, you will have that like that, electrician, and so on. But if you spot this, the carpenter is not looking that well because the, the, the values in the curve S is way too big uh, compared to the period. So if you want to uh, make a quick fix on that, I just go to, I need to select my curve S, and I'm gonna go to format. And in this case, I'm just gonna go for Y axis. I'm gonna tell Power BI very at the bottom. I want to turn on the secondary axis. And now you have it, guys, it's looking amazing. You have all the curve S right now looking just great in the same uh, scale. And then if you want to click this off, you will get all over again the entire curve S. And this is amazing. If you see this, it's almost finishing in April and you, can, you have everything automated now, guys. But why I'm telling you that? Because if I come back to Power BI, I want to refresh this this curve S from the changes I see in my in my P6. So, for instance, I go back to P6, go to one of my activities, and I guess the one that is pushing up to April is this one. There you have. So let's let's think, let's imagine that we have a new forecast for this activity, and it's going to be beyond the April time. So I go to this focus remaining time and I'm going to say, okay, this spans a little longer. So it's going to go up to May. Let's say one more month. So I'm going to add 300 here. It's going to be up to June now. So I just need to run the, 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 the project. So schedule the project. I'm going to click schedule because I need the, the schedule for, for the 
for the values to be spread over the time. Now it's spread to up to June. And now if I want to refresh that, I, go, I just go back to resource assignments, select that, that the same traits I have here, control C, go back to my Excel, open my Excel here, open it again. I'm just gonna paste it uh, over this. Now, if you see, it's gonna go, it's gonna be up to June. So I'm gonna save this file, it's a new one, but this file is already connected to Power BI. So everything is automated behind the scenes for us guys. So that's the beauty of Power BI. I'm gonna close this down, go, going to come back to Power BI. And now I'm just one click away guys, one click away to get all my curves refresh here. So I just go to this bottom and I'm gonna say refresh and you're gonna see that difference that makes to my Power BI model here. So see, see here, beautiful guys. It automatically sh is showing me the new months up to June. That is exactly the new change we made in our Primavera P6. So I hope you like this, this video guys. I hope you, you find it interesting and um, please stay tuned because we are gonna come back with more and more tutorials, more videos for you guys. So take care, see you next time.